The recently published report of election expenses was a hot topic in the public, as it showed candidates in the 2022 general election spending from zero to $89,000. But political scientist Professor Cynthia Barrow-Giles says she does not have much interest in the report due to its lack of transparency. The existing legislation that is in Barbados and the rest of the Caribbean um, do not, or does not require um, political parties to, in fact, um, disclose their sources of income in, and, the, and their spending patterns. So insofar as there is an absence of that, I do not, in fact, pay much attention to what is, is, is being declared by the candidates. As I indicated, these are not verified, they are not audited, they are not investigated, and I would have to take at face value the truthfulness of the, of the submissions, which are either submitted by the candidates or the agents acting on behalf of the candidates. Noting she believes millions of dollars are being spent during campaigns, Professor Barrow Giles says minimally there should be a system of election reform which requires political parties to disclose their spend. The university lecturer has also raised concerns about parties accepting anonymous donations. We do not know what is the source of the income. It could be legal, it could be illegal. We don't know which foreign governments and which foreign corporations are providing money to the government. And that, that therefore, is a governance issue. It's a serious governance issue because at the end of the day, citizens are not aware of whether or not public policy is being bought. She, however, acknowledges the counter-argument Barbados is a small society and donors to political campaigns may suffer victimization. I do not accept that we have to, in fact, um, declare all sources of income. In other words, there should be a ceiling over and above which um, the legislation should require um, a declaration of the source of the income. Below a certain amount of money, I don't think that we should unnecessarily expose people to the potential of victimization. So I'll just say Professor Barrow Gels would also like to see effective legislation which gives the election oversight body, whether that's the Electoral and Boundaries Department or some other entity, the capacity to audit and investigate whether the claims submitted regarding election spending are in fact accurate. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.